Good morning, everybody. Today's lesson is about the present progressive, or it has another name, we call it the present continuous tense. This is the title of our new grammar lesson. Okay, let us start by describing the following pictures. Okay, throughout answering the question, what are they doing? Throughout that question, we're gonna understand the form and the usage of present continuous tense. The first question is, what are they doing? Look at the picture, please. The answer would be, they are playing football. What about this picture? What is he doing? He is eating a burger. The answer is, he is eating a burger. What about this picture? What is it doing? Notice that how I'm changing the pronouns from they, he, to it. What is it doing? It is sleeping. So let us start by talking about the usage of present progressive or present continuous tense. When do we use present continuous tense? Usually means when you want to talk about action that occurring at the moment of speaking, use the present progressive tense. So if I have if I have this timeline over here, we call it timeline since it is a line and it has past, present and the future, we call this what timeline. If I want to talk about present progressive, it's over here. okay it started a little bit in the past, reached and reached the present, okay it's over here. So when you say I have just, okay, I have just finished my, uh, sorry. When you say that, for example, I was planning to explain something else, it's okay. Uh, when you say I am doing my homework, it means that right now at the moment of speaking, you are doing your homework, okay? Or I am right now, the teacher is explaining the lesson. For example, uh, this is what we are doing right now. The students are listening to the teacher, okay? So this is like an example for you guys. Usually we have keywords that we may find them in order to know that it's in the present progressive time. For example, we have words like right now, now, okay? At the moment of speaking all of these we call them keyword that let us understand that we're talking about present continuous tense so whenever you want to add the appropriate tense you have to search for these keywords okay let us continue please so uh, okay so let us start with the affirmative sentence now let us move to the form of a of simple or a present progressive tense. First of all, affirmative sentence, which is the regular, the regular statement. Let us take this example about this picture, analyze it to understand the meaning of affirmative sentence. The first sentence is, I am reading a book. Look at the picture. What is he doing right now? He is telling us that he is reading a book. So the statement is, I am reading a book so it starts with the subject here the subject is i or who is who is doing the action usually we ask the question who in order to get the subject plus am which is verb to be in simple present reading with a gerund mean the base form of the verb plus ing and lastly a book which is the complement or the words needed in order to continue the meaning of the sentence okay uh, I want. I would like to remind you of the verb uh, of the rules of verb to be in simple present tense. So we have am, is, and are. When I have I, I have to add am. When I have he, she, it, or any singular noun like boy, girl, uh, Hadi, Zahra, Ahsan, Hassan, whatever. I, can, I have to add is, and if I have we, you, they, or any plural noun, like for example, the teachers, the children, 
okay, schools, etc. I have to add are. So these are the rules of uh, of the or how to use verb to be in present. Okay, be careful that the verb to be should be only in the present and not in the past, since we're talking about present continuous tense. Okay, great. Let's move on. So. Uh, as I told you before, in the simple in the present continuous tense, you have to add ing. Today we're also going to talk about three different rules related to ing. The first rule is like the word shake and the drop. Uh, sorry, shake. Okay. So the word shake it ends with an e. Look what I did when I when I change it or when I added ing to it. So shake. Shaking, I crossed or dropped the E and then I added ING. So the rule is when the base form ends in consonant plus single meaning one E, I have to cross or drop the E and add ING. So shake, it ends with the consonant E and the vowel E, uh, the consonant K and the vowel E. So I cross the E and I add ING. This is the first rule. Whereas the second rule, look at this example, see, seeing. In this case, I didn't cross the EY because I have double E. So the rule is when the base form of the verb ends with consonant, which is the C as the S, and double E, I only add ING, ing without crossing any letter. Okay, great. The third and last rule for today is when the base form ends in one vowel plus one consonant, we double the consonant and we add ing. So here, look at the word set. It has vowel, one vowel plus one consonant. What do I do? I have to double the consonant T and then I simply add ing, okay? Let us see if you have any question. Now, if or, or so throughout these examples, we'll see if you understood the rules. Okay, please, if you want to answer, I ha you have to raise your hand. What What is he doing? Who would like to answer? Uh, okay, please raise your hand and I'm gonna unmute you. So, Zahra Akshesh, what is he doing? Yes? <laughs> He is thinking that he is eating a donut. Okay, or maybe he is daydreaming. Thank you, Zahra. Okay. What about the, this picture? What are they doing? Here I have more than one, so I have to say, what are they doing? Okay. Uh, Hadi Rashid, yes. What are they doing? They are running. Excellent. They are running. And at the end, I have to put a full stop. Thank you, Hadi. What about this picture? What are they doing? Who can tell me? Hadi Shamas? Yes? What they are, are they? Yes? Climbing? Climbing. The, yeah. They are climbing. So they are climbing the mountain. Wonderful job. So these are all sentences, affirmative sentence and present continuous tense, okay? Thank you for your time and thank you for listening properly.